Good morning, everybody. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Don't forget to water your plants. It's April 28th, 2022, and I'm in my pop book from last year that I've never read. And it just magically appeared in one of my things, so I knew it was to be added to the mix. So the first the homework assignment is to read Luke 14, verses 15 through 24. And I put that on my phone already, so I could be zippity doo dah a little bit anyway. And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper, and bade me many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. First said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and shewed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. Okay. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. The word of the Lord. The next one is Psalm, Psalm 32. If you want to turn there in your Bibles, or you want to look it on your phone. And if you have a different version, it's going to sound different. I use the King James Version always. Blessed is he who transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not in iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guilt. When I kept silence, my bone waxed old through my roaring all, that, all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer, Salah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin, Salah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance, Salah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with a bit and brittle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy all ye that are upright in heart. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be not like a horse or a mule, without understanding which must be curbed, with bit and brittle, or it will not stay near you. Psalm 32, verse 9. 333. Today's title is Diabetic Heart. The feet of a person with diabetes can become numb. And the person can be seriously injured without feeling the thing. But with good care, people with diabetes can have healthy feet and bodies. Because of sin, our hearts became diabetic. We get numb and can seriously sin, injuring ourselves and others, without feeling or confessing a thing. So sometimes through afflictions, we are driven persuasively, as horses and mules are constrained by the bit, to confess our sins and go to church. Keeping our sins hidden and unconfessed has physical and spiritual consequences. So God calls us to admit our transgressions with penitent hearts to receive his absolution and healing for our souls and bodies. Jesus died to take our numbness and transgressions away. He guides us to confess our sins. He forgives us and he gives us an ab us abundant life. With his care, we can have healthy spirits and bodies. Lord, thank you because in Jesus, our transgression is forgiven. Our sin is covered. For when we kept our sin silent, 
our bones wasted away through our groaning all day long. But we acknowledged our sin to you, and we did not cover iniquity, and you forgave the iniquity of our sin only by the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that devotion, and stay tuned. I'm going to have more coming up. Love to all bunches. Don't forget to water your plants today. It's Thirsty Thursday. Bye.